Welcome back to Can I Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's not waste too much time. You already know who I am. You know who this gentleman is. Uh, so apparently they just released the uh, Durham report, and it has some damning evidence for the FBI, um, as we all know, is full of shit bags. But let's take a look at this video here. So I've got Steve Scalise reading a quote from the Durham report, and let's listen, shall we? In here. <laughs> I feel like I'm being trolled. <laughs> Not much. Well, what you've seen from a number of colleagues, and frankly, it's bolstered by. It was a very, very quiet quote, but they they asked the, the they asked a question to Steve Scalise, and he's about to answer with a quote. By the Durham report, is that there are some agents at the FBI who acted outside the lines. Again, I will read a quote from the Durham report. These aren't House Republicans. This is the Durham report conducted uh, from within law enforcement the fbi quote the fbi failed to uphold their mission of strict fidelity to the law Shocking. they also point out that an fbi agent knowingly made misrepresentations to the fisa court it's a violation Ooh. of law Jeez. who's being held accountable yes a and bad so violation of law are, you know we support a fisa court a federal intelligence court that's not just lying at the dmv to get out of a parking ticket guy yeah, this That's is a real get put in prison, get sent to a black site prison type offense. That's not something small. You're going to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> like you're you're going to disappear. <laughs> you're not even going to call your lawyer for something like that. Well, you're just going to disappear. The, the, you know, it, this just goes to show you that the FBI is pretty much, and the DOJ for, the, for that matter, pretty much run and owned by the Democratic Party. Oh, of course. And, and and by the way, it's the kiss of death that they see that you're a Republican yeah. trying to get hired there. Oh, if, if you at all talk about any work you did for the Republican Party, you're done. I, oh, oh, you're done. Well, you'll get turned away 10 times out of 10. Promise you. The most hilarious thing is I, I always say this is the Demo Democrats. And, and now, granted, I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent, but I lean. I'm a Republican. A yeah, I, I learned more. I lean more towards the the Republican side because it's more rational. Let's be real. Well, well uh, Milton Friedman used to have this great saying. He used to say, I'm a libertarian with a small L, but I'm a Republican with a capital R. Um, or did That's, I flip that? So essentially uh, what he meant by saying that was for the sake of political expediency, there's not a lot of libertarians out there, right, right. but you temporarily side with the, the, the one of the two main parties that you can uh, essentially um, do some form an alliance. Yeah, <laughs> you, you form an alliance with them, yeah, and, and that's what I had to do. Okay, there's not that many libertarians out there because libertarianism is, uh, let's say, a uh, it, it is a, a, a dying um, thought thought process. It well, really is. It, it, the pro, the, you know, and with our with our with our two party system, I mean, once you enter in another party, nobody really pays attention to that party. They don't right. allow that party to even speak half the time. They don't give them the airtime. They don't give them the mic time. So, you know, you're never going to get that. You're never going to get that extra, you know, that extra competition in there. The no, you won't. Uh, that is, happens a lot of the times. I'm sorry to interrupt you, no, but no. that happens a lot of the times um, against Republicans because a libertarian right. will run and pull that 3% that the Republican needed to win. Needed to win, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and that's what they found upon it. Man. But uh, getting back to this, the... Uh, it, literally, the Democratic Party runs the DOJ and the FBI. Now, I always say that Democrats, white liberals, they're extremely emotional. And when you're emotional, you're not rational. You're doing things based on your hate for Trump or your hate for the party or your hate for, for them and, or because somebody told you that we're all, you know, you know, white racists, which I, I mean, I, obviously I don't follow, fit that moniker at all. Well, but, actually... Actually, uh, if you identify as white, you do nowadays. Um, I identify as Hillary Clinton's emails, chief. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss <me> oh, <laughs> my apologies. Don't have me arrested, sir. And I'm talking the good ones, not the ones in the spam. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about the ones where you're ordering copious amounts of pizza, right? Yeah, exactly. Who the but, fuck uh, orders pizza by email? Dude. <laughs> We're going to leave it at that. Yeah, look, the FBI has a hand in that one, too. You know, that's something they should investigate in, and they don't. Because They're not. Guess, guess what? Their party's the one ordering all the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
it's 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 they're delivering weird. here, bro. Yeah, exactly. The scary thing is, it's like, how are you? How are you? Like, you're doing everything based on emotion. You're not rationally thinking about anything you're doing. You're taking your own party down, and then you're trying to blame the Republicans. It doesn't make any sense. Literally, right now, Republicans aren't really doing anything. They're not doing nothing. Anymore. It's a lame duck session, bro. They ain't right. doing shit. We're They're not sitting there with it. their dicks in their hands. Realistically, even me and you, we're just chilling, right? We're just chilling, just keeping an eye on things. And, see, and guess what? You know what they're doing? They're burning their own house down. Mm-hmm. And we're sitting here going, hey, real no, real low. Hey, stop, stop. Where that Willy, <laughs> where that Willy Wonka meme right now? <laughs> oh, no, please don't. Yeah, please don't. And that's please. literally what's going on. Oh, people, no. <laughs> they, they, I mean, they're literally burning their own house down. And they're inside of it. And... It's 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 one of the craziest. It's I mean it's great for us because all we do is just sit back and watch, and they literally do it to themselves. I mean, and but you can tell it's all based on emotion, just hysteria, just going crazy, not even thinking about what you're doing. You know, like it, it's it's unbelievably characteristic of that. And I've always said they're the emotional party, we're the rational party. I've got a, a good clip from Sky News Australia here that I'd like to share, and uh, this could launch us into a new topic or a new area of discussion for this particular topic. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. <clears throat> so this is a, um, a clip from Sky News Australia. It's going to switch from the Fox um, moniker now. Give it a second. FBI leadership has clearly got to be changed. And Jesse, I'm of the mind we need to end the FBI as we know it. It needs to be broken up. I mean, clearly it has become corrupt. The leadership is corrupt. You know what the FBI stands for? Yeah. Fat, bitchy incels. Because that's all that works there. It's a I bunch mean, of purple hair, douchebag yeah. losers that vote with their little feelings and don't actually know how to get a job done. You know most people in the FBI Academy, when I went to Fletzy back in the day, most people in the FBI Academy were failing out of uh, pistol yeah. fall. Yeah, I believe it. They've never picked up a pistol before. They get these guys. They're, they just get out of college. They get their bachelor's degree in fucking uh, art or some bullshit. But it's a bachelor's degree, right? That's all you need to join the yep. FBI. It doesn't matter what it's in. They have no experience with firearms. And they could barely qualify. I wouldn't trust that person to fix me as a ham sandwich, let alone protect me under duress. I've seen I've seen, uh, I've seen, seen FBI qualifying. And, dude, it, it is one of the most horrendous things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it, it, it's almost as bad as the... Uh, you've seen... Um, Oh my God, bro! The IRS? Have you seen the IRS? Oh no! IRS, oh, IRS might as well shoot into a trash can. Like, that's bro, fucking crazy! <laughs> it's so bad. But let's continue with this. Yeah. Well, Republican Party members aren't happy with the FBI and even Hillary Clinton, for that matter. And that's because Special Counsel John Durham has handed down his 300-page report into Crossfire Hurricane. Mr. Durham has been investigating the FBI's original investigation into Donald Trump's alleged collusion with Russia, known as Crossfire Hurricane, since 2019. He was appointed to the role by former Attorney General Bill Barr under the Trump administration. It took four years for John Durham to conclude that the FBI's investigation into Donald Trump was not fairly carried out, perhaps for political reasons. If you weren't aware, during the 2016 presidential election, there were allegations circulating that Donald Trump... So can we please clarify that? Uh, what he has confirmed after a four-year investigation is something that I could have told you in 2016. Uh, the FBI was politicized and weaponized by the previous administration yep. against Donald Trump since before 2016. Now, and you, you remember the text I sent you about Obama, right? Uh, you send me so many about Obama. Well, recently I sent. You I one. wake up to drunk texts at like three a.m. from you. Hey, you know what? <laughs> claiming... You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Seriously. Uh, the the one where I said Obama's going down. Metaphorically speaking, in a legal in a court of law, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Let's I mean, be very clear about he's that. He's going to get in trouble. He's going to get. He in is going to be this. brought up on charges. And uh, he's trying according to move to back to Kenya. He, he, he immediately is wearing a dashiki and he's trying to go back to make this <laughs> possible. Uh, when you say move back to Kenya, you mean uh, like, like he's never been to Kenya, guys. He wasn't born in Kenya. Wink, wink. <laughs> but he, he's uh, he's my, he's uh, looking looking for land and uh, property out there. He's he's actively looking. He's trying to get out of here. And uh, I don't blame him because uh, once people find out what's going on all around, 
I mean, this is the icing on it. This is nothing. This is Bro, t- you know what I would say if he expatriated? Oof. Okay! <laughs> I don't give a fuck if Obama leaves. I don't care. It, like, well, he's literally the third worst president in history, only behind Jimmy Carter and Joe Biden. That's the holy trinity of fucking things up for this country. The problem is I need him to I need him to go down for the things he's done. I need him to get it. He's his, not going to, bro. He's just, above the law. No, not yet. It, it's it's coming. It really is coming. It's just it's taking some time. I mean, did you think that we were going to get to this point right now uh, with, you know, people actually look, I mean, people actually doing their jobs. I mean, we just witnessed that this guy actually did his job and said, yeah, you know what? The whole thing was a lie. They'll come up with something else. The timing of this is very coincidental, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, with everything happening in the world politically right now, uh, with the financial system changing the way it is. Uh, again, if you want to learn more about that, you need to subscribe because I have multiple videos on how the ISO 20022 committee is changing yeah. the world and how the World Economic Forum, the International Monetary Fund, uh, are collaborating with hundreds of businesses behind the scenes to change the way that you do e-commerce. Yep. But hey, I'm just some guy, right? I couldn't know what I'm talking about. There's no, no I, way. I, I can vouch. You know your stuff. I mean, you know you know your stuff. Everything, every every piece of intel I've heard, I've come to you, and and you're you're already three steps ahead. So yeah, I mean, the the this whole deal that's happening right now, it goes right alongside with our economy. And 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 we're gonna get a new financial system. Mm-hmm. It's just a question of um, you know how soon. That's all it is. And and most people will not even know it happened. No, it's it's Mo- gonna it's happen, gonna happen like, like that. And yeah. most people are gonna be like, "What? There's a new fine." So banks are doing things differently behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it, little Johnny. Don't worry about it. People made billions of dollars off of this, but you know better, right? Go back to watching your TikToks with dumb bitches dancing in bikinis. Horse. Have fun. God yeah. bless the horse. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that's all that that it, it, bro, I, I'm I'm telling you, social media is a distraction nowadays, 99% of it. Oh yeah. I mean, Literally with this right here, this you could have access to the entirety of information at, at yeah. man and mankind's databases, but most of you just use it to stalk your ex. Let's yeah. continue. For sure. Trump colluded with Russia in order to influence the outcome in his favor. A narrative that Hillary Clinton pushed as part of her own presidential campaign. Trump wholeheartedly denied the accusation, calling it a witch hunt. Any collusion between Trump and the Kremlin was ultimately ruled a hoax in March 2019 after Robert Mueller ended his investigation, which found no evidence of the conspiracy theory. The controversial probe conducted by the FBI cost the taxpayer nearly $32 million. Trump wanted justice for the false allegation, which prompted another investigation to be started by John Durham into the FBI's probe. John Durham's assessment into Crossfire Hurricane didn't paint a nice picture for those investigating the former president. Part of his 300-page report read, It is the officer's assessment that the FBI discounted or willfully ignored material information that did not support the narrative of a collusive relationship between Trump and Russia. Similarly, the FBI Inspection Division report says that the investigators repeatedly ignored or explained away evidence contrary to the theory the Trump campaign had conspired with Russia. It appeared that there was a pattern of assuming nefarious intent. An objective... Okay, so... Anytime you're going into an investigation and you've already developed mens rea before you take a look at any yeah. sort of sort of evidence, you have something called the confirmation bias. It means you're looking for something that's not there, but you're going yeah. to make shit up in your head. Okay. Right. Uh, and that's essentially, oh, I'm sorry. For those of you that don't know, mens rea means criminal intent. Okay. So um, essentially they were told, hey, look, we need something to make Donald Trump look bad. Um, I need you to look under every rock and I need you to put a bunch of shit together uh, to make it look bad. But we all know it's all bullshit. That's essentially what went on. Literally. And, you know, the crazy thing is, it's like I keep, I, you know, people always come up to me. Oh, the FBI. The FBI. I, I go, when was the last clowns. time the FBI actually had an investigation, went after the person, got an arrest, and got a conviction in that totality has never happened. It has it, It's happened 
the last time it happened is probably in the seventies, maybe the sixties. You know, yeah. you know where everybody like oh, Manson what era. What about nine eleven? They had already had knowledge of the people who committed nine eleven, and then they came out afterwards and like, yeah, we you know we were handling these guys. We already knew. They didn't do the investigation because they're involved. The problem with the FBI is they're criminally involved in everything that's going wrong. Damn and near. Instead of helping the situation, instead of think, making things better, they're literally just running around ruining things. Hold on a second. My I mean, daughter's here crying. You're, you're good. You're good. Yeah. So for those of you unaware, uh, essentially the FBI has been weaponized for years. Um, it, it, this isn't a new thing. This is something that's been going on for, I'd say, it, at least three decades. So literally 30 years of corruption. And we're just now beginning to uh, kind of catch on to it uh, in a major trend. There are insiders that always knew about it. It was always weaponized uh, against, you know, whatever the flavor of the week was. But now it's particularly... Um, divisive let's take a look at the rest of the video if an honest assessment of these strands of information should have caused the fbi to question not only the predication for the investigation but also to reflect on whether the fbi was being manipulated for political or other purposes unfortunately it did not durham also said it revealed that senior fbi personnel displayed a serious lack of analytical rigor towards the information that they received especially information let's review that shall we a lack of analytical rigor. So in other words, you're neglecting your duty because analytical rigor is exactly what you were hired to uh, exemplify. Um, in the military, you would be held on an Article 92 and possibly uh, excommunicado. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's take a look at the rest. Information received from politically affiliated persons and entities. <laughs> This information in part triggered and sustained Crossfire Hurricane and contributed to the subsequent need for Special Counsel Mueller's investigation. In particular, there was significant reliance on investigative leads provided or funded directly or indirectly by Trump's political opponents. Now, of course, this revelation by John Durham has prompted Donald Trump to respond to the Russiagate scandal, believing the American people suffered at the hands of the probe. Trump told Fox News Digital, I, and much more importantly, then American public, have been victims of this long-running and treasonous charade started by the Democrats, started by James Comey. Interesting that James Comey flew on the Lolita Express over 30 times, to my recollection. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's weird how anybody tied to the Lolita Express happens to hate Donald Trump. Yeah. Because it, Trump's it, not tied to it. The problem is that, is that they have to take him down because if they don't, it literally means death for them. Look, treason, what's punishable by death. Uh, death, yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and, and a lot of their, a lot of their, I mean, 90% of their crimes is treasonous. So they, that's why they're so afraid of him. It's not, oh, they, they're afraid he's going to run and turn the country around and make it better again. That's not what it is. Listen, it benefits them when the country goes well, okay? It benefits them when the country goes to shit. Either way, they make money. Either way, I, I used to not know what that meant. <clears throat> uh, and then I actually, I had a client back in the day uh, that was a um, Wells Fargo cybersecurity guy. Yeah. Uh, he was not the head of their cybersecurity division in Florida, but he was like just below there. And he, he used to tell me, he's like, it doesn't matter if the company or the, or the economy is doing well uh, because they know how to make money in either time. Yeah. They know how to make money by flipping stocks. They know how to make money by shorting stocks. Yeah. So they're yeah. always making money hand over fist. This yeah, is it's, deeper. It's, 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 listen, there is a reason that Pelosi, you know, is hysterical. There, you know, there, there's a reason why Joe Biden gets hysterical. There's a reason why all these people get hysterical. Yeah. In, Her husband's in, getting hammered. Oh, yeah. And, and, and they're, listen, they're invested in something that they really shouldn't be invested in. And they're deep, they're so deep in that if Trump gets his way, they're going to go down for treason and they're scared. And the FBI is sitting, is, is, is wasting taxpayers money, wasting time going after Trump all day long, knowing they got nothing, trying to see if maybe they could pull a Hail Mary play. And at the end of the day, you got nothing. You wasted 
another 10, 20, 30 million dollars in taxpayers' money, and you look even more foolish than you did yesterday. You know, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, our intelligence agency is a joke. Let's finish this video out. And yes, it is a joke. But let's finish this video. Out. There must be a heavy price to pay for putting our country through this. This report took a long time because John Durham is a very thorough investigator. But the result is unequivocal and an absolute disaster in terms of justice. It turned out to be a giant and very dangerous hoax. The FBI responded to John Durham's report, telling Fox News Digital that because of the Russiagate allegations, the Bureau had examined FBI's leadership and implemented dozens of corrective actions, which have been in place for some time. No, nope. no, they didn't. No, they didn't. See, corrective yeah, actions is when you actually have something negative happen to you. Yeah. You don't get sent on a paid vacation for two years while the investigation concludes. Correct. That's the kind of corrective action that they took part in, and that's bullshit. The FBI hasn't done any corrective actions in 40 years, bro. Listen, and They're one of the youngest federal agencies, aren't they? Yeah. Second yeah. only to the, uh, yeah. the TSA. TSA. Oh, no. TSA is only like 22 years yeah, old. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because 22 was a TSA was established right after 9-11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. FBI, yeah, right. I think, was established in like 71, 72. Yeah. Yeah. And, I could look I mean, that up. You want to give us an anchor? I mean, if you look at if like this is the, the troubling part of the FBI and the CIA. Oh no, I'm sorry. 1908. My apologies. Yeah, that's, I was, that's what I'm thinking. The uh I could have sworn at Fletzy they told us uh we're the second the the FBI was the second young, or the you, the second youngest of the TSA. No, it's it's been around for a while. But if you look at if you look at the uh, FBI and the CIA, if you look at their top echelon, the guys the guys that run the show, most of the guys are ex bankers. If you look at the, you know they concerning, they, isn't it? It's very concerning. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> and you're gonna, I already know where you're going with this, and I just know you're gonna speak uh, without reviewing the. The, the, the history of that. Let me explain something to you. Uh, I used to think that in order to get to the head of the FBI, the head of the CIA, the head of Homeland Security, all these government organizations, you actually had to be an agent for like 30 years and work your way up. Turns out that's bullshit. Usually what they do is they hire people with political influence on the outside to head up those bureaus. Uh, and then they turn to shit because they don't know what they're doing. Um, and a firm that is famous for this it's called Sullivan and Cromwell. Uh, yeah. And I'm I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't want to get sued. Go ahead, oh. Yeah, they uh this is the kind of this is the kind of upper echelon that they have. They have people that don't have never been on the field, never really did anything on the field. They just have people who know how to how know how to lie, cheat, and steal money, launder money, and no business. And if you look along those lines with this situation then you know why they're freaked out about Trump. Trump knows business very well. And he knows how, you know, rem remember, he was in the presidency, so he has access to all the records. So um, he, he can look at anything he wants, and he probably did look at anything he wanted. And if you look at all these people and how hysterical they become, they oh, listen, these people are very emotional. You don't get emotional unless you're scared which is there's two things an anxiety ridden scared and democrat they all fall in the same spot you know and i don't mean like a normal anxiety i'm talking like panicking about every like aoc panic where she's constantly her eyes get crazy and she just starts yelling about every oh, little thing my fourteen thousand dollar red bottoms oh no yeah well red bottoms. let's not get into it let's, let's, let's not get, get into, into those but this is this is synonymous with what's going on, and and again, they wasted all this money. They did all this stuff for what? For what? You're gonna lose anyway. You like you, you're just you're destined to lose. And at the end of the day, Trump's gonna win. And you 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 now you're making him a martyr. Now he looks well. You know what? He's 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 untouchable now. Well, coming up in the 25 minute mark, let me set this anchor here, and then we'll get out. All right. So the FBI. Clearly at this point, and if you deny this, you're denying reality and you live in a lie and you should really evaluate your own situation. Uh, but the FBI at this point clearly uh, has political biases and they were clearly bought and paid for by the Democrats, weaponized against Donald Trump and all conservatives in America, uh, thusly. Um, and at this point, I don't really understand 
what's keeping Republicans in Congress from disbanding the FBI. When it's been weaponized to this extent, this is grounds for hundreds of people to lose their jobs because there's committees, subcommittees, oversight committees, cross committees, all within the FBI that oversee investigations. Yeah. And every single one of those hurdles was jumped over like jack in a candlestick. And literally hundreds of people need to lose their job because of this. Yeah. And I have a feeling they're all going to get paid vacations on our dime. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, you got a closing statement? Yeah. I, I was just, the funny thing is, is that the sad part is, is that this isn't it. They'll come up with something else, some fake investigation, and they're going to be like, you know, uh, Donald Trump raped Eskimos in, in 1962. And, you know, you know, we got video of it and all this stuff. And then, OK, so now we started a whole new investigation and then you're yeah. just going to make him look better. You know, this whole anytime. And because Democrats, to be clear, because Democrats keep buying it. Right. And, and, and that's anytime, why this keeps going on, because they want to they want to uh, extend this grace period of. Oh, see, he's under investigation. Right. You can't Jump trust on. anything he says. Yeah. And the, th the, the here's, here's the thing. you If you ever want to see if something is BS, see who's putting all the emotion behind it. If the Democrats are putting the emotion behind it, it's a total outright lie. And and it, it, and that's that's what you got to look for. If it's if, if the uh, Republicans are putting emotion behind it, that means they're pissed off about something that went down. Well, that's clearly how it works. I mean, that is how it works. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great night.